Hey everyone, this is just a low effort video to answer a question that I saw online. So I've been asked a few times whether or not you can use an Arduino as ISP programmer to program a device, but also hook up four status LEDs to see what happens on those pins. So essentially I've got this schematic here. We have the programmer here on the left and the device that we want to program on the right. The four programming pins are the SCK, the MISO, MOSI, and the Slave Select. So that's a one-to-one -one connection over to the clock, MISO, MOSI, and the reset on the device. Uh, the only fancy thing about this is that each one of those pins has a wire that jumps down to an LED, which has a resistor that goes down to ground. So uh, the idea is that these LEDs will light up depending on the activity of those four lines. So the question is, does this impact the ability to program or is this totally safe? So that's what I have wired up over here. On the programmer side, which I apologize is on the right hand side in my schematic, it was on the left. But these four pins are 13, 12, 11, and 10. And they jump over here to this breadboard, which has four LEDs on it. Uh, the other set of jumpers brings that back over to the device board, which goes to pins 13, 12, 11, and then the reset pin here, since this is the target device. So that's how that's hooked up. Right now we can see that the only LED that's on is the reset pin, and that's because reset is always high normally, and it gets pulled low when you want to reset it. So uh, let's jump to the computer, and I'm just going to upload a dummy sketch here. So sketch, upload using programmer, and let's watch what happens. So it's compiling and uploading. And it looks like everything was completed, it's done, and was successful. So that answers the question, yes, you can do it, yes, it's safe.